I'm Teresa Jones. I've been coming to MBL for over 20 years. I'm an endocrinologist and I work for the National Institutes of Health and run their diabetes complications program. I heard about the MBL through my husband, uh, Josh Zimmerberg, because he's been coming here since 1976. And so he wanted to, you know, show me MBL. And so on some early trips we did together, we would come through um, Woods Hole and MBL in the summer. I'd say there's a little difference between my association with MBL and many, if not most, people here. So I'm a you know, doctor. I went into science um, wanting to you know, help people cure disease. So I'm much more uh, kind of in that thing applied, in that way applied. Um, where here, it's discovery for discovery's sake. And that's, you know, it's a different way of looking at kind of science, and I think you need both of them. For a few years, I actually did experiments here, and, um, and that was interesting. It was a little hard. It was a little hard to um, assemble all the equipment and supplies and, and things. So then I changed to doing more uh, uh, reading and, and writing. And then now I do um, telework um, from my day job. I think what I get out of MBL is kind of getting you know, ideas of where kind of the basic science is going and, and partly you know, what techniques are uh, available um, as far as imaging or molecular biology, even though it may not be on a topic that's directly related to my work. Oh, I, I'd say it's, it's in some ways like a science summer camp for the family. You know, you're not being pulled driving all over. And so it was, um, I think, really good for the, bringing the family together. Um, I have memories of uh, we had this burly um, bicycle stroller um, thing and taking them, um, Aaron and Joseph, in this thing from the apartment to the Periwinkle Club and riding on the bike path with this. And um, they would be um, singing in the back of the burly. Not real songs, just like la 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 kind of thing. I have a picture of um, Aaron eating uh, a lobster when he was about nine months with this lobster in front of him, and he's you know so excited. A little different. I mean, when they were in the Periwinkle Club and the Satellite Club, which were both great. I mean, you were really, and we're living in the cottages, and we were much more enmeshed in MBL. Though we loved the cottages, it was really nice, and especially when our children were younger, there was just a very good feeling about you know, having them just hang out with other kids in the area. I'd say the most valuable is the people who are here. Um, people who share, a, you know, a devotion to science, um, making discoveries, pushing the limits of our knowledge. You know, I'd say around here that there's just a higher fraction of people that you want to be friends with than in any other place. And I think that comes because they're all kind of thinking, and even if they don't do science, usually somebody in their family has, and so they're attuned to it and appreciate it. And so I think that's uh, a big thing. Um, there's this um, Fourth of July tradition where people would have a, um, the potluck dinner in doggy circle and then walk over to the fireworks on um, what well, we call it Russian Beach, um, near Fay Beach. We had for a number of years these Sunday night potlucks uh, with music and they were very special. 
very, um, you know, unorganized, but it always worked out. So people would just bring food, they'd bring instruments, and it was, um, it was really, kind of, I'd say, unique. I remember one where it was starting to rain, and um, we put up a tarp outside. I think it was too many people, or uh, I think we'd already started, or there were too many people to go into any of the cottages. So we put up this tarp between the trees and things, and you know the party just kept on going. And we had a squid party one year, um, where we had my husband had done a project with that required collecting a lot of squid, and so we cleaned them and froze them. So we had several, a lot of pounds of squid. And so he divided, he gave squid to um, about six different people who had squid recipes. And, and then we made um, a few things ourselves. And we invited a huge number of people over to our house. <clears throat> and then they, we had these different stations of these different squid dishes. You have a sense of like what science was like a hundred years ago. Just um, kind of uh, just the joy of discovery um, without all the infrastructure and everything else that um, biomedical research has become. That it's a, a great way of catching, uh, catching up on science, on having time to think about things. Um, it's, a, it's a sabbatical. It's like a mini sabbatical from um, our life in Bethesda.